NFL prize picks for Thursday, October 3rd. I'm Sniper from DFS Army. Hit that like button. We're going to go over the Thursday night football game between the Buccaneers and the Falcons. Going to go prize picks, talk all the free plays on the board. Our streak yesterday did take one. Uh, Alex Bregman got a hit in his first at bat. Nothing else the rest of the way for the Astros. So we will start over. Still on a nice little run overall. Today we're going to look at Kirk Cousins, Baker Mayfield, and Mike Evans. One more time, though. Smash that like button. I'm going to hit the intro, and we'll get to work. All right, first play we got to tackle. Kirk Cousins, 230 and a half passing yards take a look at the game log really quick actually should need to start with our odds here baker uh, sorry kirk cousins as you would expect for this set it right at 230 and a half yards 50 50 prize pick did just copy the line but it's always good to just take a peek see if we're getting any free odds value kirk cousins last three games 238 230 241 yards so he's been right around that mark the entire time to remind myself it's exactly at 230 and a half. So he's been over two of the last three, but really kind of bunched up right in this in this area. But again, he's got a win over the Eagles, close game against the Chiefs, and win in a divisional game against the Saints. Head over to see what the Buccaneers are allowing the last three games against the Eagles, 158 to Jalen Hurts and the Eagles, 216 to Bo Nix over in both of those games. Uh, Jared Goff and the Lions, though, did go for over 307, gave up a ton of yards in this game. Buccaneers still did win the game. By the way, overall totals for this game, I, did, I skipped over that just quickly. Let's just go back and recap. It's a tight game, though. Falcons, two-point favorites at home. Minus 130 on the money line, 43 and a half total. Um, Kirk Cousins, 230 and a half passing yards. I would probably lean towards the under in this game. He's been right around this mark. Obviously, Tampa Bay is playing well. The game could turn into a shootout, though. I'm pretty 50-50 on this one. It's not one I'm taking a strong stand on. I highly doubt this is the play where we are going to uh, put our streak on. Made me pick one, though. I would lean Kirk Cousins towards the under. Well, let's see if we can find a play we like more confidently for our streak play. Maybe put a bet down in the DFS Army Discord, which, by the way, if you want access to the DFS Army Discord, more picks, plays, prize picks, underdog, sleeper, sportsbook bets, um, MLB playoffs cranking out. NBA is coming. Link down below. Sniper 20 is 20% off. There's also links there for uh, deposit match codes, promo codes for all of those sites I just mentioned. mentioned. Go check it out. Get yourself some free money. All right, Baker Mayfield, 242.5 on the passing yards. Take a look here. Went off last time out against the Eagles. But before that, I mean, good defenses in the Broncos and, and Detroit. Didn't even break 200 yards. 347 last time out against the Eagles. I'm looking at what the Falcons are allowing here. Didn't flip over to the box scores in this game. You know, 239 to Derek Carr and the Saints. 217 to Patrick Mahomes and uh, the Chiefs. And then the Eagles, you know, this was 183 to Jalen Hurts in this game. So they've held under in all of these games. The problem, Baker Mayfield, I mean, he went off last time out against Washington. I'm not super impressed. The Eagles have been looking shaky probably for this game as well. You know, another another divisional game. I, I always like the unders in these in these type of matchups. Uh, two forty two and, and a half passing yards. Thursday night football also usually um, I tend to think there's a bunch of defense in these games as well. You know, two of the better teams in the NFC South right now. Three and one Buccaneers. Two and two. Uh, Falcons. I'm going to lean towards the under again, a little bit more confident than uh, the Kirk Cousins play, but again, not much. I'm hoping I get some clarity here on the Mike Evans four and a half receptions line. And you can see last time out against the Eagles, eight for 14, uh, eight receptions on 14 targets, just throwing the ball his way constantly. Didn't get a ton of targets against the Broncos. Two and two so far this year. Did have six receptions in the Detroit game. Only did make three catches there. 
look at the number one receivers uh, against the Falcons in the last three games. Both Olavi and Shahid, eight receptions each in that game against the Chiefs. Rasheed Rice, 12 receptions. The number one receivers and then seven receptions for um, Devonta Smith. So Mike Evans, I think, is the best play of the three. He's getting targeted, got targeted a ton last game. Number one receivers against the Falcons are making are getting a lot of receptions in this game. Buccaneers also small underdogs for whatever that is worth. So in case they have to make um, – they fall behind in this game, should mean more throwing for Tampa Bay, which should mean more receptions for Mike Evans. This would be my favorite play of the bunch here. We Mike Evans uh, over four and a half receptions. I did also, again, skip over the – um, the prop here. I know they got Chris Godwin. I, Mike Evans, though, is is the man in this offense. I think. Real quick, we'll just just compare the two. You know, Evans, fourteen targets to Godwin's nine. Nine targets for Chris Godwin in this game. So they did flip it in this game. So I guess it's going to be Godwin or Evans. I just think in this matchup, it is going to be more Mike Evans. Um, actually, Godwin got more. Receptions in two of the last three games. I still like Mike Evans. Six receptions down behind spot. There's only so much you can defend. Receivers are going off plenty against against them. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sway my opinion here. Uh, and we go Mike Evans four and a half receptions and minus one twenty. Pretty much a pick as you would expect when prize picks can cherry pick their lines for the uh, streak game. Mike Evans more than four and a half receptions is my favorite play. The two other quarterback. Uh, passing yards that are on the board i would lean towards the unders but not confident picks there this is the one i'm going to lean on again hit the like button more picks plays get in the discord we'll see you in there here's that daily reminder that whether or not you are a dfs army member you probably should be but either way good luck in those contests let's cash this ticket and i'll see you next time